Hi, and welcome back. So a worrying study out of the University of Missouri has shown nicotinamide riboside, NR, as a dietary supplement causing a specific type of cancer to occur, and then that specific type of cancer metastasizing or spreading to the brain. Enough waffling off me, let's just see what this worrying study out of the University of Missouri has got to offer. This is a review of a piece that was penned by Eric Stan out of the University of Missouri, which looked into a study that used a bioluminescent based probe for in vivo non-invasive monitoring of nicotinamide riboside NR uptake that revealed a link between metastasis and NAD plus metabolism. This paper was published in the Journal of Biosensors and Bioelectronics. And there are links in the description below to the study and the articles I used to put this presentation together. While previous studies have linked commercial dietary supplements such as nicotinamide riboside, more commonly known as NR, which is a form of vitamin B3, to benefits related to cardiovascular, metabolic and neurological health, this new research out of the University of Missouri has found NR could actually increase the risk of serious disease, including developing cancer. There is growing evidence that nicotinamide riboside or NR has health benefits that can help treat a number of cardiovascular, neurodegenerative and metabolic disorders. Since these type of disorders are on the rise in modern society, it's more important than ever for researchers to study the potential therapeutic uses of NR. Although until now, there haven't been any studies looking specifically into the side effects of NR. And if you only look for the good, then you're not really going to be able to find the bad. Eleanor Goon, PhD, an associate professor of chemistry at the University of Missouri said, some people take them, them being vitamins and supplements, because they automatically assume that vitamins and supplements only have positive health benefits. But very little is known about how they actually work. Because of this lack of knowledge, we were inspired to study the basic questions surrounding how vitamins and supplements work in the body. The international team of researchers led by Professor Ellen Goon, an associate professor of chemistry at the University of Missouri, discovered that high levels of nicotinamide riboside could not only increase someone's risk of developing triple negative breast cancer, but could also cause that cancer to metastasize or spread to the brain. Once the cancer reaches the brain, the results are deadly because no viable treatment options exist at this time, said Professor Goon, who is also the corresponding author of this particular study. Triple negative breast cancer is a kind of breast cancer that does not have any of the receptors that are commonly found in breast cancer. Think of cancer cells as a house and the front door may have three different kinds of locks. These are the receptors. One is the female hormone estrogen. One is the female hormone progesterone. And one is a protein called human epidermal growth factor or HER2. If your cancer has any of these three locks, Doctors have a few keys, like hormone therapy and other drugs, that they can use to help destroy the cancer cells. But if you have triple negative breast cancer, it means those locks aren't there. So doctors have fewer keys for treatment. That said, chemotherapy at the moment is still an effective option. Following the death of her 59-year-old father, only three months after being diagnosed with colon cancer, Professor Goon was moved to pursue a better scientific understanding, specifically around cancer metabolism, or the energy through which cancer spreads throughout the body. Since NR is a known supplement for helping increase levels of cellular energy, and cancer cells feed off that energy with their increased metabolism, Professor Goon wanted to investigate NR's role in the development and the possible spread of cancer. Professor Goon said, our work is especially important given the wide commercial availability and the large number of ongoing human clinical trials where NR is used to mitigate the side effects of cancer therapy in patients. 
The researchers used cutting edge technology to compare and examine what NR levels were present in cancer cells, T cells and healthy tissues. Professor Goon explained while NR is already being widely used in people and is being investigated in so many ongoing clinical trials for additional applications, much of how NR works is in a black box. It's not understood. So that inspired us to come up with this novel imaging technique based on ultra sensitive bioluminescent imaging that allows quantification of NR levels in real time in a non-invasive manner. The presence of NR is shown with light and the brighter the light is, the more NR is present. Professor Goon explained that the findings of the study emphasize the importance of carefully investigating the potential side effects of supplements like NR prior to their use in people who may have different types of health conditions. In the future, Professor Goon would like to provide information that could potentially lead to the development of certain inhibitors to help make cancer therapies like chemotherapy more effective in treating cancer. Professor Goon said the key to this approach is to look at it from a personalized medicine standpoint. Professor Goon closed by saying, not all cancers are the same in every person, especially from the standpoint of metabolic signatures. Oftentimes, cancers can even change their metabolism before or after chemotherapy. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, as I said, worrying, especially if you are a lady and you do choose NR as your NAD booster of choice. I do now hope that is common knowledge that if you do have cancer, that you don't take an NAD booster. And even if you have a history of cancer in the family, you consult with a physician before you do actually start to take NMN or NR. I think the statement by Professor Goon about supplements and vitamins on the whole being thought by people to be good for them and not really recognising what the side effects are, highlight the fact that you should always consult a medical practitioner or a doctor before you start to take any kind of supplement. So if NR is your NAD booster of choice, I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. And also let me know if having seen this presentation or read this particular study, would you consider stopping NR as your NAD booster of choice? Or will you wait for other studies to be published? Although this is an in vivo study, it was taken uh, in animals and not in humans. So let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.